Good morning, friends, and happy Tuesday. I uh, received a suggestion from someone who's been watching the videos on the Beatitudes that perhaps I just continue with the Sermon on the Mount, and, and so that's the plan for now. And so right after the Beatitudes, Jesus continues, and again, he's preaching along the Sea of Galilee, and it's a pretty sizable crowd. He, he then continues and says this, and they're familiar words. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It's no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. Now, most of us live in a time in which, uh, you know, we uh, are told by the doctors, uh, be careful of the salt intake, right? Especially as I get older, I'm, I'm conscious of that, although, man, it does really make a lot of food taste better. But, but that's not how the ancient world used salt. It was a preservative on meat, on fish, before refrigeration, before freezers, this allowed them uh, to have the meat or the fish for a little bit longer. And so if we think of it in that perspective, right, you know, you are the preservatives of the world, right? And, and it can't be lost. That we as Christians, right, baptized from a font like the one behind me, nourished at an altar like the one behind me, uh, we are sent into the world to preserve society, right? Our commitment to be not just good Christians, but good citizens uh, is so, so very crucial, especially in this time of, of chaos and division. We lead with our Christianity, as I've said before, right? Our Christianity comes before any political affiliation, before any civic engagement. That I go into the world as a Christian, someone who's committed to live these Beatitudes, committed to mercy, committed to service, willing to suffer persecution for speaking the truth about God's plan for our world. And that makes the world better. I, I know there are some now who are saying, oh, we need to get rid of Christians, right? And we're seeing that. We need to get rid of images of Christianity. This is the sign of the oppressor. No. You want to know what life is like without Christianity? Go to North Korea. Want to know what Christianity, what world without Christianity is like? Go to some of the Arab nations, right? When we remove the, the dignity of the human person as a, uh, you know, an assumption, when we remove the idea that we should care for the poor and the forgotten, it doesn't happen. We as Christians are to be the conscience of the rest of our citizens. Our faith can never be public. What are we told at the end of each mass, right? We talked about this before, ita misa es, it's finished, go. Go and, and announce the kingdom. Go and announce the truth that, that God wants us to live as sisters and brothers. That God cares about the forgotten. That God cares about those who are suffering. That God cares that, that every child have opportunity for education, that every person have an opportunity for work, right? That, that these are gospel values because of the dignity and the goodness of the person. And we just can't sit back and watch society fall apart we can't watch society crumble. And we also can't wait for our bishops to do something. I was blessed last night to have a phenomenal conversation with a group of about 13 or 14 men from our parish about how do we respond as Christian men in the midst of this. And I'm very excited about the beginnings of those conversations. Are you having those kind of conversations, right? Again, it's not an option for us as Christians to sort of retreat and, and fall into tribalism. It's not, it's not. We're always sent out, and we're always sent out into the world, the world that Jesus Christ came into to redeem. And so as you put some salt on your salad today, or some salt on your vegetables, or some salt on your popcorn, remember Jesus wants us to be the salt as well, wants you to be the salt, for you to preserve goodness in your family, goodness in your neighborhood, goodness in your city, and through that goodness in our nation. Jesus is depending on you. Let's pray. Lord God, please give us the grace we need to be the salt of the earth that you desire. Help us, Lord, understand issues and choose the way that Christians should choose and help us be courageous, but also patient. Patient, Lord, knowing how long it takes for conversion of hearts. Lord, continue to help us have good habits as we seek to contain this virus, please inspire those who are developing vaccines and may they use methods that respect the dignity of everyone, especially an unborn child. Lord, bless the conversations our nation is happening. 
May they preserve us as the people you desire us to be, always respectful of the dignity of every person and the right to worship. Be with those who are suffering in any way, Lord, today. Show your face on them. And may God bless each of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And in this time of division, we say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Friends, have an awesome, awesome day and stay cool.